That's a map. <laughs> yeah. Oh, someone's playing. I wonder who it is. I bet... Yeah. Hang on, let's see if we can figure out... Oh, that was decisive. I bet that was Steven. No fucking shield use I there. I thought since Edie had spent a lot of time here. I got this in. Okay. Before my mom sealed the doors. Oh. 80? Was that 80? I thought 80 was... 80 is short for Adolf. Oh, this is a Hitler game. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got some trendy uh, arm socks. So, okay. Seal the doors. This will be Something obvious oh. later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Oh. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing Edie. them Edie. Okay. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. All right. Okay, so the mum named the kitten Molly. I don't understand why that's significant. What is that? I wonder if we have. Oh, some, some stretch canvases. I Grandma Edie's room. <laughs> okay. I wonder if she's terribly burnt under those arm socks. Who is this? Who is this playing? Do you reckon? Did you see? Like in the introduction, it had like the the names of the people who were playing, didn't it? It was like Corey, Stephen, Matt, Vanessa. Was there Vanessa? Maybe it was Engineer Sexton Hardcastle as well. What's his face? Rusty, Dusty, Rusty. Lewis Ooh. died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Lewis, huh? Her room was like a museum. <laughs> okay, this is a family simulator. It's the walking simulator, but with family. Years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. Oh. And misfortune. Hey, I've been to Norway. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Lugi. On January 7th, 1937, <laughs> he set sail with his family. And his house. <laughs> Come on, the you're obviously behind. dicking about with it. Oh, this is fucking Stephen or whatever. But Shit, cut it out, Stephen. Off the coast of Washington. Oh, what? Some house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Oh. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home. Baby Molly. Oh, the kitten was named Molly. Who names the kitten after a dead person? That's really dumb. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh, there you go. What is that, a sculpture? Is that this is a pretty is weird sculpture. A Finch house. Real news. <laughs> yeah, let's go through it all again. There's definitely stuff I missed, surely. <laughs> hey, it's the tree map. Family, it goes back a long ways. <laughs> Looks a little sheepish in that little drawing she just quickly drew. Well, that took like two seconds. Man. Hey, it's Odin. <laughs> he looks like, um... Oh, God. What a goddamn hipster finch. Oh, shit! Is their name Finch? So that's why there's finches. <laughs> is, is that finch wearing in a Make America Great Again hat? Fuck. Oh yeah, there's the there's the oxygen tank. So this is an old lady room. Told people Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could <laughs> okay. have, but she didn't. Uh, hey, there's a little Norwegian flag. Yeah, I was gonna say Odin looks like one of the koalas in the Magic Pudding book. Look it up, guys. It's fucking great. Even in her nineties, sometimes Edie so. seemed a lot younger than my oh. mother. Oh. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Imagine all the <laughs> imagine all the human secretions which have leached into this carpet over the years. Oh, okay. There's the old lady cleaning booth. The only trace <sighs> Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Sure. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> Is that a ring on our, our sassy neck around our, on our little necklacey bit? That is a little ring. Ah, oh, pills, drugs. For the elderly. Come on, man. <laughs> Steven, it's just a door. You use the knob. 
Oh, he needs to wait for the little graphic to pop up. Oh, a self-published book. What are they doing? They put a lock on their own self-published book? There's a secret in this bathroom. Oh, come on. No one is this it's crafty. The last place you would look. No it one is this cupboard. crafty. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in reality, that would just be the lock. And it's like, oh, you got the key? Yeah, you can come into our secret porn room, whatever. You don't have the so key? No porn for you. Camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Sven, okay. So what, Sven is Edie's husband or son? Husband, I guess, huh? And then Sam's the kid. Or, what, step kids? I don't follow. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. No, don't go back. What are you doing? Come on, man. Put Make Matt play. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Some sneakers. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I hope there's not going to be jump scares. Oh, a little bit of booze. Edie, Edie had a problem. Okay. So... What was that? Fort what? Calvin. Fort Calvin. A kid's room. Fort Sam. Oh, two kids share a room. Calvin and Sam. And that he never... <sighs> There's little portraits on the door. No grandma is that crafty. No grandma's gonna grandma paint portraits. Like oh my god. And build a fort in the fucking house? Paint <laughs> portraits on slices of wood. How this is I a craft fantasy remember. game. By Sam Finch. Right now we're the doing a little boy voice. Is that when he made up his mind, that was it. What is this? Games within games? Come on. So what are we, Calvin or Sam? I haven't been following. Is, is, is Steven in control? Steven, what are you doing? <laughs> is it, are you shit at this because you have a broken leg or are you just bad at video My games? My said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. <laughs> oh. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Okay. Oh, this is Calvin pretty. Always wanted to fly. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh no, he's gonna go off the goddamn cliff. Come, come Don't do it, Calvin. Us, no man. <laughs> but that day, he fought. Steven, stop! Made up Slow his down. Mind to do it. Oh yeah, yeah. I told yoy. him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Yep, yeah, it's all your fault, Sam. Ah, oh, this is taking Maybe forever to kill this kid. Come on. And maybe he'd still be here. Yeah. But I doubt it. This is the dumbest thing in the whole world. For a crafty grandma. I think like he'd already made up his mind. Could have pointed it like laterally, you know? I guess they need to smack That's up against the tree, you know? about my brother. <laughs> oh, he's trying to go around. Man, I only just picked that up. So you're supposed to think you're going to go around, and then it turns out you actually go off the cliff? Is that what's going to happen? Maybe I shouldn't have drunk quite so much before this, I kind of feel sick. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, I fucked so hard, I destroyed physics. Ah, that's pretty cool. Wow, right, go Calvin. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, <laughs> I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Okay, cool. You know, the kids aren't named Calvin anymore. Is it Calvin and Hobbes ruined it? Now everyone's like, oh, know. Calvin, like Calvin and Hobbes. He roped off Calvin's half of the room. Roped off his half of the room. Okay, this is the Mad Grandma simulator. This is a pretty cool room, isn't it? Camo. It's a camo bed. <laughs> What's that going to do for you? 
Oh, is that a camera on the kid's bed? That's a bit weird. Camouflage, camouflage beds. That's what soldiers sleep in. Yeah, definitely. There's in Vietnam they had camouflage beds like that. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at eighteen and never <laughs> oh, there you go. Again. Grandpa Sam. Oh, the relations, they're all fucked. I don't know who's who. Ooh, that's fancy. Nice. Ooh. Do you ever feel like, you know the uni bomber? He used to send bombs to uh, university professors, but uh, the bomb would be in a box covered in handles and switches, and the professors would be like, oh, fuck, someone sent me a puzzle box, the and they'd pull all the switches, the bomb would go off in their face. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. Wait, so this is like... The tunnels are built for kids... It's between the kids' rooms and the bathrooms. Why is the booze all through them? Built the original house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All green and red books. See that green, Mom red, and white books. Four stairs on the night we left. Was that a power cable? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara. Barbara's eighties daughter. Or what? So, 80 is her great grandma. Is that what I'm following? Is it alright? As a kid, oh. I just assumed oh. every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Well, that's a bit. That's a bit off, isn't it? The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Oh, was that, there was dates there. I wasn't paying attention. 1917. Yeah, Edie, Edie is definitely great-grandma. Oh, that was a nice chair. Ooh! There's the, there's the aquarium room. Go back in there. That's where the sharks live. There's a pretty cool table down there. Made a big slab of wood. Lots of wood. Grandmas love wood. Great-grandmas. <laughs> this is like it was like Firewatch all over again. Ooh, oh fuck my eyes! <laughs> Man, books, books, books. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's why there's booze. It's it's that was a a hidden tunnel disguised as like a ooh, a linen cabinet. Was that a sculpture of Bigfoot? Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Oh, there's a guitar. Yep. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Man. Of all the stories people wrote Guess about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. <laughs> Old Jack here with another ghastly tale. Inspired by America's most unfortunate family. Great. I'm it's the Crypt Keeper. The surprise ending. I know this from references in pop culture. Hey, hey, look down the bottom. There's a little Felix the Cat. As a child star, <laughs> I love was Felix. Famous for her scream. <laughs> now it's this is like um. She was all washed up. Oh, okay. She was 16. Lucky break. She Probably not this girl's mum. scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. Okay. It was just the boost her career needed. Creature of the Black Lagoon there. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Who does this remind me of? <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. <laughs> Take off your glasses. And current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Fuck you, Rick. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Oh, dear. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. This is a convoluted story. Why would you put this all in the whole, like, comic? 
Ugh. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. <laughs> this guy. Tried? A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your <laughs> delivery on that. Why is your this basement is the biggest locked? yuppie in the world. Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back uh, in a sec. Thanks, babe. 20 minutes. Later, I hope this guy dies. Rick. Man, I'm banging for his blood. So Barbara went to look for him. I know this is all about Barbara's death, but hey, look, there's our hand. What the fuck? I thought we had like gloves on and stuff. When did I take our gloves off? For the music box. <sighs> Shell sighting. Smooth. <laughs> Come on, we're fucking about, Stephen. Come on, man. <laughs> And suddenly, Barbara had an... <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, you didn't wind it that much. Oh, this is like... What was that old game? Was it, uh... XII? Or, like, you know... <laughs> yeah, run away. Run the fuck away. Yeah, just... Strafe out of the door. So you really can't turn all the way around? Shit, getting murdered is tough. You lose control and then you just walk towards the murderer. Ugh, that was a bit weird. Yeah, that old video game, uh, XIII or whatever it was, where the whole gimmick was it's goddamn cell shaded and that was it. It's just a trash game. That reminds me of this. Um, younger listeners probably don't know what I'm talking about. All the teeners in the audience watching YouTube Let's Plays. <laughs> Old retro games like XII or whatever the hell it was called. Yeah, I don't remember it at all. <laughs> yeah, the, the killer is probably here behind the cleaning products. That's it. God damn it. <laughs> So the wait, what? Is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate okay. his family ten years ago tonight. Hey. So why is the laundry, and then the um, and then that like buzzsaw room? Yeah, this buzzsaw craft room. Why is that behind a crazy musical lock? Surely that should be like easy to get to the laundry. You've got to get there like every day. The dryer and the, all that stuff. Yeah, flesh and blood. My blood flashes sometimes. When I've taken enough acid, my blood flashes. I'm joking. I've, I've never taken LSD. I'm not. I'm not a cool guy. The fridge? You're gonna put the fridge behind a locked, a puzzle lock? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Rick. You piece of shit. Bard, relax. Now we're back in uh, to 2D drawing to help you stuff. find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, oh, Rick. My God, I'm these voices. Furious. Then act furious. What is All that? All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused. And you're... She threw him out, <laughs> but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? <laughs> and she was still holding it when she fell asleep, watching the late, late. Show. She died of an aneurysm in her sleep. Oh, come on. Walter, this is starting all over again. There. Ah! ah. Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. That's some uh, nice tablecloth in the background. Ah, it starts again. Throwing knives, that's a, that's what I remember about XIII, whatever it's called. It's probably not called it. Was it XIV, VVI, some Roman goddamn numerals, that's all it was. All I remember is throwing knives and machine guns and cell shading. Goddamn all over the place, cell shading. Ooh! Oh, roller skate! It's the roller skating serial killer. Walter. 
who's Walter? <laughs> wow, that's a shame about Walter. Because Island Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh no. I returned, saw the hook man, and I was speechless. He was quite Oh, uh, nice um, <laughs> twist there. She didn't scream. Nick. So does a Wolverine open up his claws or something? Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's sounding awfully calm, isn't she? Hey, there's a shark! Holy shit! Did you see that? I, uh... <laughs> I saw the... Okay, so in the actual game, not this goddamn meta game that we're playing now, I saw the little room and I thought, oh, it looks like an aquarium, but you can see a shark in there. I was right, there's a shark in that aquarium room. Maybe I'm not making sense. Maybe I need to drink more of this delicious cocktail I'm drinking. Ah. Molly? Oh, Molly was the kitten who was the woman who died. Wait, Molly died too, didn't she? So this is Barbara's getting killed by hook hand and Molly died? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is pretty. He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be wow. over yet. <laughs> kind of the contrived fool there, you gotta admit. I don't think many home invaders are gonna be doing that kind of goofy shit. Oh, he's gone! Had vanished. <laughs> listen for his breathing, but all she heard Oh, look at that. It's the uh, Men in Black chair. Was there a chair like that in, um, in Clockwork Orange as well, or is it just Men in Black? At the door, she heard whispering. First. It's coming from inside the house. Oh, that's all right. You go outside the door. You'll be fine. She's got some nice jeans. Dear. Wow, they're great. I like those jeans. Surprise! <laughs> you are wonderful. Oh, yeah, dream come true. Okay, the twist is all her friends and family are psychopaths. The monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going what? Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Uh. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all what? on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. What? And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. Oh, there you go. Well, I bet Stephen feels pretty fucking dumb for not crouching down and looking under the bed back when he had the chance to. I mean, then he would have gotten the good ending, wouldn't he? Is all they ever found of her. Her ear. There you go. A real eerie tale. Hey! <laughs> Good one, pumpkin crypt keeper. So, <laughs> so a group of what is? Are we, are we to believe that a group of her fans dressed as monsters and then got together to kill her? That's kind of weird. I bet that's never happened in real life. A group of fans. All murdering someone together. I, mean, I bet you get a stalker who's going to stab you if you're famous, but not a group. Not a group of stalkers. Surely not. And maybe that's something that happens these days. Group stalkerism. There's like online stalker communities. I bet. They share notes on how their stalking is going. Hang out in the bushes together. All right. Now what? 
What, what other little weird corner of this family are we going to explore? Is this the right way? This must be the right way because it's the only way. Now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Yeah, you might have turned it once and then got the key to the laundry. It's funny. <laughs> All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Wow, that's pretty damning. You must have been playing with it pretty shit. Because Steven turned it like half a time. <laughs> I'm just fucking all over again. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, our trendy uh, gloves are on. Maybe they're just much more fingerless than I gave them credit for at the beginning. Hey, what's that picture on the side? Is that a big engine? There's a man. What is that? Barbie Finch? Barbara Finch? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Little bird there. Yeah, this is good. This is good. <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. That little woman is running away from Bigfoot. See, her little legs are like, ah, oh no, oh my god. That's a pretty, uh, yeah, pretty eerie music box. Oh, okay. I guess probably the, um, the laundry has like a normal key to it and then like this secret key to it. But makes that secret key kind of dumb. Pool. Pool table. Ah, uh, little baby crib. That's where you put your baby's stroller, I guess. Ah, uh, there's the bus saw. <laughs> I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Ooh. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Ooh. Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Ah, oh, the words went flying. The game is turning I interesting. I asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Oh, shit. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Alright, Walter was Goodbye, a little kid. Everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. It's a little kid with a great big beard. On that first day, after the shaving started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. Ah! Oh shit! Oh no, this is a Joseph Fritzl story. Edie is a, a crazy woman who's keeping uh, her uh, days, grandchildren captive. Okay. Oh yo yo! That's what you're <laughs> saying. Is there gonna be? There's gonna be a key in this tin opener, isn't there? That's going to get to the, what, the bathroom? Having a schedule. Living for today. Ugh. I was expected to be dead tomorrow. Nice peaches. All right, good one, Dread Pirate Roberts. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Well, it's nice that the crazy, um... Crazy Joseph Fritzl grandma gave him a radio, isn't it? He can listen to, um, what, whatever he wants. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost sure. friendly. Almost friendly. Well. And then one day, everything just... stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe oh, I just go. got tired of being afraid. <laughs> so what, his grandma died? His grandma was keeping him down here? Crazy grandma? Or maybe the grandma it's been was... a week now. The longest in 30 years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a couple keeping I'm him down here, waiting. and the grandma was the nice one, and, like, the granddad was the... I uh, the rapey one. 
you know, the bad guy in this uh, this uh, child captive situation. Oh, there's a little exercise bike there. I guess um, I guess you want your weird child captive to be in shape, don't you? It was a little miserable. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Just come on, dick around with this uh, hatch until a key pops out of the handle. What's that say? Classic the circle something? Closing the circle? There's probably Easter eggs in all these books. Oh, that was a repeat. Closing the circle again. Oh, come on. If you're going to keep your grandchild captive, somewhere. don't give them like a tunnel out to the outside world. Whatever killed Barbara. <sighs> What, so for 30 years he's been in that little room and he didn't bother to open the goddamn... I'm Calvin. What was... Okay, I guess his excuse is there's a monster Maybe down there. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. So I've seen an old boy. Whatever's out there, I want you to know... I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. So this is the point where I admit that I've never seen a single episode of Kimmy Schmidt, despite Dusty's recommendations. But uh, it's pretty cool that this guy was, what, like a little kid when he got locked in there, and then 30 years later, when he's like 40-something, he gets out, and he's like, oh my gosh. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a pretty cool, like, game, wouldn't it? You play as a guy locked in a thing, a guy or a girl locked in a thing for 30 years, and then you get out and the world's Walter all weird for some six. reason. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Yeah, I can't believe it. Jeez. Uh-huh. What next? Some static static Oh, that's it? Oh man, I wonder what happens next. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> there you go. I uh, am on the edge of my sheet. On the edge of my sheet. On the edge of my sheet. Fucking hell. Too much of the old booze. Oh well. Uh, I guess you'll need to tune in uh, next time. Everyone wants to play, everyone wants to watch uh, the old Tina, uh, Tina Roll. Yeah, tune in next time for Tina Roll. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.